recent study found doctors might be able to better predict who's at risk for having a cardiac event by also taking a patient's blood pressure while they're lying down. Some of the participants who would have normally been considered fine using just a sitting blood pressure reading were found to actually be at risk of developing heart issues when they had their blood pressure taken while they were lying down. Elizabeth Shores tested the theory herself. Elizabeth? Thanks, Monica. I spoke with Dr. Rory Farnan at Essentia about the heart health and visited Gateway Pharmacy to learn more about this new hypothesis. There are a lot of things that can affect your blood pressure reading. The time of day, how much you exercise, which arm you use for the blood pressure cuff. However, the study presented at the American Heart Association's hypertension meeting says taking a patient's blood pressure lying down could give a better picture. I think the, the most important bit of that is, is that these people um, without elevated blood pressure seated, seated that have elevated blood pressure laying down seem to have e equivalent risks to those people who are uh, hypertensive both uh, seated and laying. An ideal blood pressure is 120 over 80. So we're about to see if I am too stressed out at my job. According to the blood pressure machine, I am not very stressed. But pharmacist Brennan Kuntz was kind enough to help me see if that changed when I was lying down. So we got 135 over 83. Oh, well, that's different than mm -hmm. what I got at the machine sitting up. Which is probably most likely that you just adjusted everything. Yep. <laughs> so we don't know if that's accurate. We don't know if that's accurate or not. Moving the camera equipment around is probably what contributed to my elevated blood pressure, but that doesn't mean this method isn't accurate. Dr. Farnan says we could see this being used in clinical settings years from now after more research is done. Dr. Farnan says it's important to have your blood pressure taken by your primary care doctor about once a year. All right, well, thanks a lot, Elizabeth.